You did mention earlier that the palate will split at the point of least resistance. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask you about patients that have had jaw surgery that now want Marby. Mm -hmm. What challenges does that pose to the expansion process? Some thoughts that come to mind for me are, was it a one-piece jaw, uh, one-piece Lafort? Was it a segmental Lafort? Mm -hmm. What's the state of the union? Because not every Absolutely. surgeon grafts as well as another. Mm -hmm. So I can see many potential weak points in a post-surgery palate. Absolutely. What's been your experience trying to expand jaw surgery patients after they've had surgery? I have done four uh, post-surgical cases. And in each one of them, one of the biggest thing is you really shouldn't do it. But if you do it, you should be aware that that's a possibility. Essentially, I have two cases that one, one went uh, a little bit south for, for the reason I've already mentioned. The design wasn't the best design, the placement, uh, the something just didn't quite got together. So one of those fluky things, right? Um, so everything worked out well, cases, then we're going to redo it with a dome procedure. That was one. Uh, one other case, so one of those post-surgical uh, cases where the maxilla split exactly along the weakest points. So it's, it's literally just uh, the suture broke right here at the, at the orbit. And, and it split right in the middle, but this whole side just went out, right? With this side being completely intact. So. And how did the surgery contribute to that specific weak point being created? It created it, that it's the surgery created those weak points. So, uh, that's, that's, uh, actually the patient was so happy with the expansion that she, because this is easy fix. If you catch it on time. All you have to do is close it back, yeah. and it will. It, it's easily reversible. She she was very so happy with the expansion. She did not want to reverse it because she's going to do re surgical revision anyway. Mm. So uh, wasn't wasn't a huge di a huge issue. However, the point is still remains the same. You have a weak points. It will split where that has the least resistance. Do the multi piece Lafort surgeries? Have you ever done one of those? A Marpy and a yeah. So I've done four, and one of one of them uh, had the. Com, you know, complete, complete asymmetry. So, does uh, when you when you dice the palate up like a like a pizza pie, mm -hmm. does the marpy tend to break the palate along one of the cuts of the segmental, or not necessarily? Not necessarily. Do the surgical plates, if they're still in place, pose any challenge to the expansion? I thought it would. It didn't. Were the plates in the case that you did, were they like big, robust, custom titanium plates or were it, they it, just regular plates? This particular one that went, didn't, didn't, you know, went asymmetric, uh, she had no plates. It was removed. Plates were removed. Mm -hmm. Would you anticipate that the, because not all surgical plates are the same. No, absolutely not. You know, uh, mm. from what I've seen, you have like the Dr. Gunson plates, which are pretty minimalist. Mm -hmm. He's bending them on site. Then you have the Dr. Alfie plates. Which on the on the maxilla, it's one contiguous plate that's significantly more robust than Doctor Gunson's plate, and then you have Doctor Bell's plates, which are like on another level, like super robust, uh, lots of tads and screws, and then lots of plates. Uh, I think Gunson has pretty, um, like lots of plates. <laughs> What's that? Now uh, Gunson uses extra plates. Mm -hmm. uh, so, could you ever anticipate? plates being so robust that they would interfere with the pe the expander's action going left right or, or or is the are those plates no match for the force of the marpy i don't think it's either uh i think what happens is when when you get the expansion right if, if you look at the skull you get a maxilla and and and, and zygomatic bones so you inevitably this whole mid face starts coming sideways so you get a little bit of wider face so typically the plates are holding you know zygoma to the maxilla uh, or yeah, that's that's a like a very typical surgical setup. So because you're getting maxilla and zygomas going sideways, they are not in the way. Mm -hmm. Like if you wanted to do a protraction, it, 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 even if it's that, it would still you get a whole mid face coming forward. Yeah, I wonder though if because Doctor Alfie's plate, for example, is connected across even at the midline. I have not seen his plates, so can't. I really can't come in. I'll put an image of it up, um, but yeah, it's connected across here. So I wonder if that would prevent 
if that's the case, for sure, it will prevent it. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. 